गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई एम विजय सर टू डे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू सिविक्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड सेवन ओके लेसन नंबर नाइन हियर टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मार्केट्स अराउंड अस इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द सोशल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ जेंडर जेंडर रोल डाउन ओके नाउ टूडे वी विल हियर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मार्केट अराउंड अस ओके सो एज वी नो दैट we need so many things we need variety of goods okay so for that we go to the market to buy the things okay and we all eat different types of things varieties of things okay so uh, that's why we go to the market for buying that and we get variety of things goods and services from the market okay so that's why i said you that market is a place where you know buying and selling activities done it means buyer and seller they conduct buying activity okay and they sell their things and they buy their things that is known as the market so here we will discuss about the meaning of market advantages of market kinds of market retail markets these are the kinds of market retail also the weekly shopping and malls and everywhere markets everywhere okay so at first just i am telling you about the meaning of market means what is the meaning of market market means usually it means that where means buyers and sellers if okay they conduct buying and selling activities it is given in your book also okay you can see page number 189 so when in in this place it is a place where buyer and sellers they go there and they meet there and after that they do selling activities and that place is known as the market okay so we get so many things we get variety of things from the market we get our daily things from the market understand that's why we go to the market and now just i am telling you means what are the kinds of markets so after the before starting this topic we will learn about this advantages of market means what are the advantages of market okay so market has many advantages for us okay it is link between producer and consumer market is the link between the okay act as a link between the producer and consumer the first point okay it is a link between the producer and consumer it means <laughs> consumer they buy the things from the producer the producer also he used to sell their things in the market okay and next is it helps people you know stand up of living by offering a wide variety of goods and services understand and in this place it improves our you know, standard of life standard living okay by offering a wide variety of things means we get wide variety of things in that place or we buy from there okay and we see different types of things that is available on the market so it is not possible to buy anything from the market because without market we are not able to buy all the things because people we need so many things people they need so many things that's why they go to the market okay in market it is said that consumer is the king if customer or consumer they will not go there you know producer or you know seller they will not able to sell the things okay so that's why i said you that in market consumer is the king consumer is the king of the market okay so in that place we get so many things or we get varieties of things and we buy different types of things or it makes our life easy or it makes our you know standard living understand or consumer or customer they buy the things from the market by their own choice understand and they choose the things by their own or they choose the active or daily things from the market so now uh, we will discuss about this after that now just we have uh, seen that advantages of market understand now after that we will just talk about the kinds of the markets is what are the kinds that is retail markets wholesale markets weekly market and shopping mall 
markets and malls and markets everywhere. So in this uh, topic we will discuss about the retail markets. Understand? The first topics. Understand? So uh, before just uh, starting this topic, just I, just I said you about the retail market. So now just one, one more point I want to say about that. In advantage of market that you know, means according to the demand of the products. Okay, if, if people they demand some products, so then after that, that product is sold widely in that market. Or that is, means as per the demand of the market, the producer plans to design the products. Producer plans to design the products. So, uh, this means which would satisfy the needs of the people. Understand? If people they demand something, you know, if people you know demanded that we need different types of bikes, or we need that bike, or we need that things, we need, we need that clothes, different types of misdesigning clothes. That's why producer they try to make these types of things, or they try to satisfy the customer. They try to satisfy the customer choice or customer's need. Okay, that's why I said. Now, uh, at first we will just after that we will talk about what is retail markets. It is given in your book program, okay? So I can also see. In retail markets, what happened? Goods are sold directly. In retail markets, what happened? Goods. Goods are sold directly. Okay? In retail market, what happens? Goods are sold directly. So you can also see many example of you know local markets or in your street also there are some shopkeepers, kirana stores, grocery shop. So they are retail markets. They are just sell the things directly to the customer. Means consumer they buy the things from them. Okay? These are the markets where goods are sold directly. That is known as the retail market. Okay. So uh, it means, I said you that, in retail market, we can get household things, household, whatever we use in house. So many things we get from the retail markets. If we need rice, if we need, you know, flour, if we need, whatever we need, you know, of daily uses like grocery things, that we can get from the retail market. Understand? So, next is that what are the features of the retail market that also we have to discuss here. Understand? The main features of retail markets are that is, the first point it is given in your book that goods are sold in small quantities at a time. Okay? When you go to the retail market, you see that you also see that goods are sold in a small quantities. Okay? Sometimes we go to the market to buy the vegetables and also we see that you know, vegetables like cauliflowers, carrots, and onions, so many things we see. And also if we need oil that is also available in the retail market. Some shops are there, they are selling their things. Okay. And okay. This market is done through the different types of shop also. Retail market can be in shop also, in your street also, in your mall also, it can be there. Or it can be in you know small small weekly markets also. Understand? And it can be also you know near the street also. There is there are some shops those who are selling, selling something like grocery things they are selling that we use in our daily life that are used for the household. That is you know all the household things that we get from that retail market. Okay. So just I say to that now you have seen the features of the retail market. Now we will talk about wholesale markets. At first we will just discuss about this, what is the wholesale market. Okay. Here in wholesale market what happens? Goods and things are bought here in large quantities in wholesale market. Okay. In wholesale market what happens? Goods and things are sold in large quantities to the retailer. This retailer they go there and they buy the things from the wholesale market, from the wholesale shopkeeper. Understand? And in this market, in wholesale market, goods are sold in large quantities. If retailer he wants to buy potato, 
means he has to take one quintal of potatoes or 20 kg or 50 kg. If we will also go there, we have to also buy. If customer or consumer also will go there, so they will buy their things in large quantity. They will say no, I will not give one, I will not give one kg or something. Now in some market, also market, they are selling one kg or half kg. That is possible. But most of the time, retailer they go there, they go there and they buy things in the large quantity in the wholesale market. It means I said you that in wholesale market things are and things and goods are sold in large quantities. Understand? So that is known as the wholesale market. Now uh, we will just talk about the features of wholesale market. Understand? So this market has also some features. Understand? So it is given you can see the point number one that uh, goods are sold in large quantities. The customer of a wholesaler is a retailer or a trader. Just I said you in this, okay. That if customer goes there, means that customer is retailer or trader. They only buy the things from the wholesaler. Wholesaler means wholesale software. Okay. Okay, and uh, uh, second thing that wholesale market is in big cities or big towns, in a big towns, in some areas. Means because they settle their shop and they see, they sow, they sell the things in a large quantity, and they brought the thing, they brought so many things. Rice, if there is the market of wholesaler or rice wholesaler, if that shopkeeper is in potato wholesaler, tomato wholesaler, vegetable wholesalers, they bring the things, you know. They bring the things you know, in large quantity and then after that that is sold in the market. And they sell the things to the retailer or trader in a large quantity. Understand? So uh, these are the just features of I say to that wholesale markets. Now we will talk about the weekly markets. At first we have to know what is weekly market. Okay. Dear students, as you know that, you have seen many examples of weekly market that sometimes we go to the Wednesday market, we, we go to the Sunday market, we go to the Tuesday market, we go to the Thursday market, we go to the Saturday market. So, it is held in a specific day. Okay, it is held in a specific day or you know, of the week. It is held in a specific day of the week, for example, Wednesday market, Tuesday market, Saturday market, Sunday market. So what happens in that market? In that market, shopkeepers are, retailers also they go there. That shopkeepers are not, they, are, means, uh, they do not build their shop permanently. That is temporary shop. That shop is temporary. That shop is only for 4 hours or 3 hours. Understand, after that they just carry all the things and they go to the other markets. Okay, so it is here in the specific day of the week, like for example, we can go to Tuesday markets, Sunday markets, Wednesday markets. Understand? Now here we will discuss about the, some, you know, uh, features of the weekly market. This is what are the features of the weekly market. The first point is, I just, I say to that, you know, you know trader set up their shop temporarily. That is not permanent shop. Okay, and they go to the different places. They sell their things in different places. Sometimes they go to the other places, sometimes they go to other places to sell their things. And these people or this trader or this retailer also buy the things from wholesaler. Okay, so when we go there or when we go to the weekly market, we get the things easily. Or if we need vegetable, we go to the vegetable shop or we buy the things from vegetable. If we uh, need oil, if we need <coughs> whatever we need, we go to the particular shop. And we buy the varieties of things from the weekly market also. Okay, in the weekly market what happens? Just I am saying in the future, you know, retailer or shopkeepers are, you know, they just bring the things from the vegetables. They die, maybe they grow the things like vegetables and all the things, okay, and they sell into the weekly market. So that's why we get the things at the cheap rate. 
at the low price sometimes okay so actually it depends on according to the market price understand so that's why i said you means most of the time we get the things in mean, the market at the low price low price or low cost understand so these are the features of the weekly market in this market many things are at the cheaper rate means many things are available at the cheaper rate if we want you know cauliflower it will get at the cheaper rate if we want you know, radish if we want carrot everything we want we can get at the cheap rate so means things are available in this market at the cheaper price at the lower price okay so actually most required in our daily life that we need so many things we need vegetables we need oil we need you know sometimes clothes also clothes also are sold in that market okay so we need different, different types of things that's why we go to the weekly market in that particular place we get all the things we get variety of things at a time understand that's why this market is also useful for the person or poor people okay for middle class of the family okay. so that is these are the important next is that is about the you know now we will hear we will discuss about the shopping complexes so you have also heard about the shopping complexes and you have listened about the shopping complexes so this markets are in urban areas understand it means in that area in that shop has many shops in single complex a market is in urban area that has many shops in single complex in single buildings so that is popularly called a shopping complex it it means in that building or in that in that shopping complex may be different types of shop in that building you can get different types of things if you want shoes if you want branded shoes you can get from if you want cloth from there you can get if you get if you want to get rice you can get from there means that shop is held in a specific building in particular building that is known as the shopping complex means this these are the these are the markets where these are you know, in urban areas it is set up in urban areas understand that is shopping complexes so it has also some features understand the first point is given in your book that both branded and non branded products are available if we need branded products we can buy from there if we need non branded products we can also buy from there understand okay in this you know shopping complexes it has large showrooms for goods understand but price are high in this shopping complexes what happens price are high means things will not get at the lower price or cheaper rate people those who are poor they cannot afford or they cannot buy the things from them if the things are branded okay so in shopping complexes what happens the sellers they are big or they are rich they set up their you know shops and that they are rich that's why they set up their shop and they are selling the products but they are selling branded products over there understand so buyers are also rich in this shopping complexes shopkeeper is also rich and buyers are also rich means those who are rich person they can buy the things they can buy the branded things they can only afford it they can only afford such types of things or they can only buy the things from the shopping complexes now after that we will talk about the malls the next topic okay so at first we will know that what is malls large multi stored air conditioned building with shops and different floors are known as the malls what is malls so large multi stored air conditioned buildings with shops on different floors are known as the shop in the malls okay it is also in close shopping complexes shopping places this is usually in a large building it also it is held in a large building it is set up in the large building in that building there are different types of shops okay in mall also or we get variety of things from that from there okay we also we can also buy the things we also buy <coughs> we can also buy the branded products and non branded products branded and non branded products are available there understand so i said you that 
So it has also some features. Walls also has some features. That is, in this uh, mall, in, 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 in English apps of market board address, they sell bra always branded product. Means branded products are available in this market. Okay. And it also promotes about the better quality. That's why the customer they choose or they go to the malls and they buy the things from there. Okay. So in this in malls, what happens? The things are very expensive. If you want to buy clothes or if you want to buy something, if you want to go out buy a trouser or something, if you want to buy you know dishes or some plates, so things are very costly. Means rich people can buy only things, or rich people can go there. A person goes work poor, they cannot afford these other things. Okay, so buyers are also rich in this. Means if buyers are rich, they can also go to the market and they can buy the things from the malls. Means here in this market, branded products are available. Means branded products are sold by the shopkeeper. Understand? So now. Now we have just seen about the, you know, about the malls. Now here we will talk about the markets everywhere. Understand? Markets everywhere. So uh, nowadays, now we are watching, the, we are seeing that we all have smartphones. We all have smartphones. We have all, we all have laptops, televisions. Means we are using electronic devices. Means and we all are connecting with the internet. Okay. Means now our country became digital. You know, we are living in the digital India. Understand? So that's why I said you that buying and selling can take place through internet, through mobile phones. How is it possible? There are many apps that we can download from Play Store, like Flipkart, Amazon. Mitra, so many apps are there. So buying and selling, these types of activities can, can be done through the mobile phones or through the smartphones. Means we can order or we can place any types of things. We can place order of you know jackets if we want now in the time of winter season. If we want jacket, directly we can open the mobile just and after that we can log in the flip card. After that, we can place the order of jacket. Then it will be del delivered after two, two days or six days or five days. It means if you are sitting at home, you don't need to go anywhere. You can buy the things from, you know, through online. Understand? So just th that's why I said that buying and selling activities can be done through the mobile phones. Understand? You can buy the things or your things can be, your things will be delivered after 5 days or 2 days or 4 days. Whatever you need, you can buy all the things from this type of shop. Understand? Okay? And the person who will deliver that things, he will also take, you know, delivery cost. So, just I, just I said you about that, this market is everywhere. It means, we can buy the things from home also. Understand? So we can order or we can place the order or if you want to eat something, suppose you want to eat something or suppose you want to uh, you know, book the hotels, you can go through the internet or you can book hotels. Understand? If you want, uh, you know, uh, if you want to eat something or if you want to, you know, just buy pizza, you can order or you can place the order of pizza, it will be delivered within one hour. So delivery boy also will come to your house and they will give the pizza to you. So these are very easy or these are very, you know, it is, in this days now it is running. Okay. So if we want to, you know, eat something from the restaurant, we can just place order through mobile phones. And after that they will deliver all the things. Deliver, they will deliver whatever we need. Chicken, mutton, rice, whatever we need, they will deliver from the restaurant. It is possible. Now it is possible only due to electronic media, due to digital media. Okay. So, uh, dear students, 
I hope you understood about that. Okay. And go through this chapter read nicely. This is where the nine videos. So try to understand. So once again, I am saying you that thank you. Have a nice day. I will meet you in the next video with next interesting story. The last lesson, lesson number ten, we will discuss here about that. After that, our syllabus will be completed. Okay. So till then, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.